Hey, Low Riders, it's me, Lois, and I'm here today to talk about Melody versus Everybody. The reason I want to talk about this is because of that nonsense with Stormy Steele's mother and the dress gate or whatever's going on with the dress. Who gives a flipping dip? But uh, I'm going to start with Letitia because I firmly believe, allegedly and in my opinion, and mind you, all these comments are alleged and in my opinion, or the express opinion of Reality Insights, a.k.a. Lois X. Brundage Vance. I firmly believe that Letitia and Melody were true friends prior to the show. I believe that they had a love for one another and a respect for one another. And that's why Letitia felt so comfortable coming to Melody or listening to the things that Melody said. I think that what happened with their relationship is that Letitia allowed other forces, side sidebars, Carlos King, allegedly, and in my opinion, and Kimmy Grant allegedly, and in my opinion, get in her ear. Because even her husband, Marceau, was trying to tell her that everything that she was doing and the way she was acting toward Melody was wrong. But no one was paying attention to that. I think Letitia misses her friendship with Melody, but she doesn't know how to gracefully say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Please forgive me. I truly, truly, truly believe that. Um, Melody has been nothing but kind to everyone. She was helping Letitia come out of her shell, come out of the home, and learn how to, she can manage her home as well as her outside life, you know, her career and everything beyond that. Marceau was fighting her tooth and nail, which is expected because they had a certain dynamic. And I firmly believe that Letitia really valued the opinions and uh, everything that Mel was giving to her or saying to her. I really believe that she valued those things because that is when I believe Letitia's copying started allegedly and in my opinion she started copying mel's blueprint and including using the word blueprint because mel used the word blueprint with her i uh really 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 like Letitia. i'm probably one of the few people that do like Letitia. i think that she's easily swayed her mama sways her and then people that don't mean her any good also sway her because I do think that Letitia has a business sense. You know, she's not going to school and getting all these degrees for nothing. There's a, there's a method to her madness. There's, there's something she wanted to do in life. There's some things that she wanted. And I firmly believe she was stagnated because of the bullshit that's going on with let's ice Melody out. Let's not talk to Melody Let's talk about Melody. Let's try to do everything that we can to bring Melody down. You know, I believe that she got caught up in that and she really doesn't know how to turn herself around. I firmly believe that there's a possibility in my heart. I believe that their friendship above anyone else's friendship or fake friendship or association can be redeemed. I think that if Letitia humbles herself, regroups, has a sit down and talk to her husband first, you know, because yes, you want to, you want to have a conversation with your husband and just go ahead and say what's on your heart when it comes to Melody Cherie and what you'd like to accomplish when it comes to moving forward with Melody Cherie. And then say, fuck everybody and all this bullshit. That is my friend. She has always been my friend. And you guys got me caught up in all of your bullshit. And I'm not rolling with this nonsense no more. From now on, I don't want to be no parts of your schemes. Because that's not what I signed up for. She allowed me to sit at her table 
and showcase what I, I, I'm about, my talents, my, my uh, gifts. And I turned my back on her. And I am 100% wrong, 1,000% wrong, 1 million percent wrong, however you want to say it, Letitia. But I do think that you owe Melody Cherie a sincere, a sincere and honest apology. And then you guys have a sit down and maybe do a girls get away together and just lock you guys away for maybe two, two days. I don't want to do no more than two days because we don't want you guys to come out fighting. You know, when you start thinking about all the stuff that was said, you're going to need to let that go. Yes, there was some things said on both Melody Cherie's part and Letitia's part. But to me, I feel like Melody has just said, fuck it. It, it don't matter to me no more. But Letitia, you are going to have to let some things go. And one of the things you're going to have to let go is listening to your sister-in-law. Stop listening to Kimmy. Y'all motherfuckers keep including people in your marriage and telling them things. And they're giving you advice that don't mean you no good or themselves any good or your marriage any good. Stop taking advice from people who are having problems in their own marriage. Who are having struggles in their own marriage. Stop doing that. Okay? Stop taking advice from those people. Um, in full agreement with you about if my husband hasn't given me any inkling that he's cheating, then I'm not going to listen to what you're saying. Okay? And then stop talking about what happened between Melody, Cherie, and Martel. That is like a dead... It's dead. You know, we already know what happened. We've, we've seen it play out over and over and over and over. Why do we have to keep hearing this over and over? How about we just move on? Let's go back to when I, Letitia Scott, initially messed up and start from there. Start with an apology from there. And then you guys can move forward. I want you not to, Letitia, include anyone in what you're doing with, um, excuse me, what, what your intention is doing with Melody. You know, the only person you need to include is your husband. That's it. You don't have to include Kimmy in nothing because Kimmy is her own worst enemy. So I know she's your worst enemy and definitely Melody's worst enemy, allegedly, and in my opinion. So what I need you to do, Letitia, is sit down and write all the pros and cons if you have to. Whatever you have to do to get back to where you and Melody Cherie you need, uh, used to be, I need you to do that. Okay, Letitia? Because I firmly, firmly, truly believe that you and Melody Cherie had a true friendship, you know, like sisters. And then you got a new sister-in-law or would-be sister-in-law and she started putting thoughts in your head and then you also were listening to Martel because him and your husband are friends and stuff like that. Sometimes you don't need to listen to your husband's friends because sometimes your husband's friends say things that just don't make no goddamn sense. Don't support bullshit, okay? If it's bullshit, call it out when it happens and that's that. I need you and Melody to get back on the right track. And another thing I, I, I really, 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 really want you to do, Letitia, and I know it's going to be hard for you because it seems like she's off the rails, is you need to check your mama and tell her she needs to mind her business. You know what I'm saying? She started out when she first came on the show picking on your husband. And see, that would have been a no-no for me. And then she went to your friend. And now she's just talking about everybody. Everybody's a bitch. Everybody's this. Everybody's that, including the content creators. I think your mama is off the rails and somebody needs to reel her in. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a sit down with your mama as well and tell her to cut that bullshit out because she is too old to be running around here fucking with people that are in your age group, Letitia, and challenging them. Okay, she needs to challenge her own self and stop fucking with people for no reason beside the fact that she don't like Melody. And I really firmly believe she does like Melody because of the fact that you guys were friends and she's only doing it because she can get views and clicks on YouTube. And, you know, she, she has her own little team, the show enough team or whatever the flipping dip you want to call them. But get your mama in check 
get your friendship back together with Melody and anybody that comes against you to fuck them in the nuts. That's it. That's my piece. Low riders, please comment on uh, my video and tell me what you think. I appreciate each and every one of you. Peace.